Welcome back to Morning Break, live at Bethesda Academy this morning, getting you ready for the Savannah Scottish Games and Celtic Festival coming up on Saturday. I've got the uh, retired pipe major for Savannah Pipes and Drums, David Crampton. He's providing our soundtrack this morning. Uh, we are talking about all aspects of this Scottish Games and Celtic Festival. We showed you some of the games. We've also got entertainment. We joked about it earlier. I think the games are entertaining. But I've got Stuart Marshall, who is uh, with uh, Daniel Ravenel, Sotheby's International Realty, the title sponsor of this event. Um, it's it's going to be a fun time out here on Saturday. It's going to be a great one. We've got uh, all kinds of entertainment going on alongside the game. We've got two Scottish bands playing uh, in the daytime and uh, towards the end of the day, which is typically the end of the day for most of the games, we're going to extend it uh, and have three hours of live music to continue the day and uh, keep people here longer. Uh, all three of my bands are going to be playing Junkyard Angels, Stuart and Winfield and Monkey Man, a Stones band. So in addition to being the title sponsor, uh, I got a long day ahead of me. It should be fun. I know it's it's a full day of activity. The games start, then there's a big welcome ceremony. The, the entertainment's going on throughout. We got all kinds of competitions going on. It, it's going to be incredible. I, I highly recommend coming out here just for the grounds alone. It's one of the most beautiful places in Georgia. It is. And we're enjoying out, out here. Stuart, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Look at it. He's dressed for the occasion. I feel like I'm underdressed today. I, I've also got Heather Crampton, who happens to be. David Crampton's wife. Uh, she is a Highlands dance instructor. Um, for folks who don't understand, we were talking about the cultural aspects of this uh, day as well. It's not just about the athletic competitions. It's a celebration of, of Celtic heritage, and the dancing really plays a part of that. Oh, yes. Um, the Highland dancing that we have is uh, the Highland fling, sword, chantreuse, and reels uh, date back to hundreds of years ago, and it was originally danced by the men, the soldiers, and they were often victory dances or uh, dances to be used prior to going to the battle, like the sword dance. The Highland Fling is basically in one spot. And again, that would be more like a victory dance. And the Chantreuse, you're shaking off. And that's when the Scottish people could once again wear their kilts and play the bagpipes. And that's so they all have a very a wealth of history. And it's also very precise, our dancing. So we have rules. And you teach this, right? Yes. Yes, I do. I've... So you can teach me? I will try. Okay. All right. So give, give me an, a, a simple step. Okay. He's going to do the uh, part of us that we teach our youngest ones and actually the, throughout the whole dance. Anyway, so I'm going to show you a part of us. Kyle's going to do is this over, beat out, over, beat out. So this one goes in the front, beat the back foot, then out, over, beat out. Oh. And one more time. Okay. Over. Beat your back foot. Don't move. You're moving over. You're I keep over. moving. Over. Stop. Stop. Okay, now beat the back foot and have your this leg go out. Now go over this way. Bring that foot over to the front. Beat the back foot. Out. I don't have the coordination for this. Uh, there's a competition <laughs> that is going on out here as well, um, and it, this is the chance to go to nationals. Uh, yes, we have in the morning. We have the championship, so we'll have dancers about the ages of 10 through we even have adults in the 40s that are still competing and the top three in each group will um, advance to the nationals which this year is in boston massachusetts all right before we go uh, she's going to give us a quick demonstration you heard her mention uh sword dance as she gets them in place uh, we're going to let her showcase that uh, david will uh, be back on the bagpipes again this is all happening saturday out here at bethesda the gates will open up at 8 45 and it goes until about 7 o'clock. There's all kinds of things happening on the schedule. We'll have it on our website, WTOC.com. Stay with us. More Morning Break coming up right after this. Being